Welcome to another edition of Rick's Kitchen. For this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Halloween themed cookie sandwiches. Let's get started. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and start with uh, cookies. Um, I'm going to be using an over the counter um, box, um, basically, the sugar cookie. But you guys can go ahead and switch it up all you want. Um, you can even make it your own. I just wanted to make the sugar cookies because I think it's going to do really well with the filling that I made for this project today. So um, this, I just follow the directions and directions say that it's going to take up to 13 minutes and add a 350 degree oven for about 13 minutes. So let's go ahead and put these guys in. Sorry for the shaky camera. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and check back on this in a couple of minutes and see how it's going. So while the cookies are getting done, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, filling that I made last night. Um, literally, the only things I used was the, a cup of uh, peanut butter, a can of a 14 ounce can of condensed milk, instead of using heavy whipping cream, I used a 15 ounce cream of coconut, about a third of a cup of the dark chocolate, and a cup of coconut milk. And it made this right here. It's um, it's still pliable. You see how it's more, more of a pudding, and it tastes more like a peanut butter, of course. Yep. It's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and be using this as a filling. You can go ahead and try your mixture. I actually made um, a video a couple weeks back about how you how to make your own ice cream so go ahead and refer to that to so you can make your own filling you can also make your whatever filling you'd like I just wanted to use this because it's a, a really awesome thing that I came up with just um, try it if you like it let me know if you don't then hey do what you want alrighty so here's another thing you're gonna want to do a day before you want to try this project you're going to want to get yourself this um, one of these molds these ice cube molds you're going to want to melt half a bag of uh, chocolate chips just half a bag and then once it's all melted in the wherever whether you use your microwave or like a stove top you're just going to want to spoon those in just to make sure it doesn't kind of overlap or t get out of the, the their moldings and we're going to be putting these on top of the cookies for the ice cream sandwiches just to make it look even more festive for the for the holidays. So you're going to definitely want to do this a day before. And this is how they look when they come out of the molds. Pretty cool. Ooh. They're going to look awesome on top of the cookie sandwiches. Alrighty, so once the cookies are done, we're going to take them out. Make sure you do this right when they're done. And they haven't necessarily set quite yet. You know, before you let them cool, you're just going to up your molds here. And kind of gauge, see how it works. It's going to fit best. Push them. You see they're still kind of pliable, the cookies I mean. So all you gotta do is just push down and they kind of stick to it. Same. They're still pretty hot so try not to burn yourself. I'm just gonna try to make um, a nice even number of, of these. Push down. Let's do um, Spider here. Hmm. Yeah, let's do spider here. Okay. And um actually I just kinda saw the numbers there, so let's go ahead and take this one off. No. Oh well, what's done is done. Did not think about this too clearly, but hey, screw it. 
Um, we need one more right there. Down. All right. So we're gonna let these cool before we put the ice cream in the middle. And we're gonna make another roll of uh, cookies. So um, I'll show you how that looks once they're, just, once they're all done. Alrighty. So instead of making these into cookie sandwiches like I kind of wanted to, that's not gonna really come, uh, gonna come to fruition. So. I'll just turn them into uh, cookies, but with chocolate in the bottom. Since this thing is kind of not necessarily ice cream, it's more of a pudding thing. I'm just going to coat the bottom like that. Just a thin layer. You don't need too much of this. You know, try to make it as smooth as possible. I'm just going to do like a little pattern onto it. I'm just going to put it back in the freezer until the bottom kind of solidifies a little bit more. I lack finesse, but these sure taste fucking great, that's for sure. Alrighty, so we'll put these on inside, I'll finish up the rest, and um, we'll take them back out and hopefully they'll be a little bit more presentable. Alrighty, so once they're out, they look a little bit like this. Some have a little bit too much, that's how you all know that they have a little bit too much. I have a little volcano there. But when they come out just right, they have an even field. So there you go. There's a spider right there. And let me get a web for you. There's a web one right there. Not too bad for a mistake, but I still kind of made out with a good, good project today. So let's do a taste test. Mm. That's perfect. And that's it for this edition of Brick's Kitchen. Go ahead and give me a comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you saw today. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. That's at Rick's Cooking. Until next time, this is Rick telling you, cook what you want and be happy. See you next time.